What if I told you that gravity, the invisible force that keeps us grounded, may not be as instantaneous as we once thought? Now that's a thought to ponder, isn't it? But let's not get ahead of ourselves. Let's start with the basics. You see, gravity is a fundamental force of nature that influences our lives in countless ways. It's what keeps our feet firmly planted on the ground, governs the motion of planets around the sun, and even shapes the structure of the entire universe. But there's an intriguing question that has puzzled scientists for centuries. Is gravity instantaneous? Does the force of gravity from a distant star or planet take time to reach us? Or does it affect us immediately? It's a question that has led to some of the most profound scientific theories and discoveries. Now, you might be familiar with two key players in this cosmic drama, Sir Isaac Newton and Albert Einstein. Each had their own ideas about gravity. Newton, the first to provide a mathematical description for gravity, believed that its effects were instantaneous. On the other hand, Einstein, the man who gave us the theory of relativity, had a different take. He proposed that gravity travels at the speed of light, a theory that was later confirmed by observation. But we're getting ahead of ourselves. Over the next few minutes, we'll be delving deeper into these theories and exploring the fascinating world of gravitational science. We'll be peering through the lens of history, science and discovery to understand the nature of gravity. So, buckle up, folks. As we dive into the theories of two of the most influential scientists in history, prepare to have your perspective about gravity challenged. Isaac Newton, the man who was allegedly inspired by a falling apple, had a groundbreaking theory about gravity. This 17th century polymath, renowned for his work in physics and mathematics, proposed a concept that, for a long time, shaped the way we perceived the universe. His theory of gravity was a revolutionary proposition that suggested an invisible force, gravity, was responsible for the attraction between two masses. Newton's universal law of gravitation states that every particle of matter in the universe attracts every other particle with a force that is directly proportional to the product of their masses and inversely proportional to the square of the distance between their centers. This force, according to Newton, acted instantaneously, crossing the vastness of space in the blink of an eye. It was as if the universe was woven together by an invisible web of immediate gravitational interaction. For centuries, this was the accepted understanding of how objects attracted each other. It explained why planets orbited the sun, why objects fell to the ground, and even helped predict the existence of Neptune, a planet unseen at the time. Newton's theory was a cornerstone of classical physics, providing a mathematical framework that scientists could use to make predictions and understand the universe's workings. However, as groundbreaking as it was, Newton's theory had its limitations. It was a brilliant piece of the puzzle, but it wasn't the entire picture. It could not explain certain phenomena like the slight discrepancy in Mercury's orbit around the Sun, and it didn't account for the effects of time and space on gravity. While Newton's theory was revolutionary, it didn't answer all the questions. Enter Albert Einstein, who would bring a new perspective to the table. Albert Einstein, a genius of the 20th century, didn't quite agree with Newton's theory of instantaneous gravity. Contrary to Newton's view, Einstein suggested a revolutionary perspective on how we understand the universe and its laws, especially gravity. Enter Einstein's theory of relativity, a two-part theory that includes the special theory of relativity and the general theory of relativity. The special theory, published in 1905, revolutionized our understanding of space and time. It proposed that space and time are interwoven into a single continuum known as space-time. But more importantly for our discussion on gravity, it introduced the notion that nothing can travel faster than light. Einstein's general theory of relativity, developed over a decade later, took this even further. It contended that gravity is not an instantaneous force, as Newton suggested. Instead, it's a curve in space-time caused by mass and energy. And this curve, this bending of space-time, propagates at the speed of light. Yes, you heard it right. Gravity travels at the speed of light. This was a radical departure from Newton's instantaneous gravity. It suggested that if the sun were to suddenly vanish, we wouldn't know about it or feel its effects for about eight minutes, the time it takes light to travel from the sun to the earth. This idea was not immediately accepted. It contradicted centuries of scientific thought and lacked experimental evidence. 
It was a theory ahead of its time, a theory that required advanced technology that didn't exist in Einstein's day to test it. Einstein's theory was radical and contested. It would take decades and advanced technology to confirm its validity. But as we'll see in the next scene, Einstein's theory would eventually triumph, forever changing our understanding of the universe and its laws. Fast forward to 2017, a groundbreaking discovery reaffirmed Einstein's theory. The stage was set for a cosmic event that would change the way we perceive gravity. Scientists observed a phenomenon that was as unprecedented as it was enlightening, the merger of two neutron stars. This celestial spectacle did not just provide a stunning light show, but it also sent ripples of gravitational waves through the fabric of space-time. These waves, much like ripples on a pond, traveled across the universe at the speed of light, reaching our planet and detected by the Laser Interferometer Gravitational Wave Observatory, or LIGO for short. Now, what made this event truly remarkable was not just the detection of these gravitational waves, but the arrival of light from the same event merely 1.7 seconds later. A difference so inconsequential that it might as well be a blink of an eye, but in the grand scheme of the cosmos, it was a revelation. You see, these two signals, the gravitational waves and the light, had traveled over 100 million light years from the distant neutron star merger to our tiny blue planet. If gravity were instantaneous, as Newton's theory suggested, the gravitational waves should have reached us much earlier than the light. But they didn't. They arrived almost simultaneously with a difference so minuscule that it confirmed gravity travels at the speed of light. This finding was monumental. It was the empirical evidence that scientists had been seeking for a century. It was the final piece of the puzzle that validated Einstein's theory of general relativity. Gravity, as it turns out, is not an instantaneous force. It propagates through the universe at a finite speed, the same speed as light. This discovery cemented Einstein's theory, proving that gravity is not instantaneous, but rather travels at the speed of light. This revelation has not just expanded our understanding of gravity, but also opened a new window into the universe. One that promises to reveal even more cosmic secrets in the future. From Newton's apple to Einstein's relativity and the 2017 confirmation, our understanding of gravity has evolved significantly. Our journey began with Newton's theory of gravity, a concept that transformed our understanding of the universe. Newton proposed that the force of gravity is universal, acting between all objects and is instantaneous. This view held sway for centuries, becoming a cornerstone of physics. However, the dawn of the 20th century brought with it a new perspective. Einstein's theory of special relativity challenged Newton's instantaneous gravity. It suggested that space and time are interwoven into a single continuum known as space-time. Consequently, nothing, not even gravity, could exceed the speed of light, but Einstein didn't stop there. His general theory of relativity further refined our understanding of gravity. He proposed that massive objects cause a distortion in space-time, which we experience as gravity. Essentially, gravity was no longer seen as an instantaneous force, but rather as a curvature in the fabric of space-time, propagating at light speed. Fast forward to 2017, when a groundbreaking observation confirmed Einstein's prediction. Gravitational waves and light from a neutron star merger reached Earth almost simultaneously, despite their journey of over 100 million light years. This observation was a triumphant moment for physics, verifying the speed of gravity and the speed of light are virtually the same. The evolution of gravity theories illustrates the beauty of scientific discovery. Each new theory builds upon its predecessors, adding layers of complexity and depth to our understanding. And while our knowledge of gravity has expanded, so has our appreciation for the enigmatic nature of the universe. The implications of these theories and the 2017 discovery are profound. They not only deepen our understanding of the cosmos, but also spur us on to uncover new mysteries of the universe. Gravity, as we've learned, is not as simple as it seems. So next time you feel the pull towards the ground, remember the centuries of scientific discovery that have shaped our understanding of this fundamental force.